Hello and welcome to another episode of HP News. I'm Courtney Leopold. And I'm Cody Robson. Thank you for tuning in to our fourth episode of HBU News. We have a lot of exciting stories for you today. Let's get started. On November 6th, the Sisters of Tri Sigma Sorority ended their annual philanthropy week with their own casino night. Our very own Ryan Anderson was there to capture this action-packed event. Hi, I'm Ryan Anderson here for HBU News. Tonight, we're at the HBU Greek Village Conference Center where Tri Sigma Sorority is holding their annual fall philanthropy event, the casino night. Let's go check it out. The event consisted of many different card games, including Texas Hold'em, Poker, and of course, Blackjack. The funds from tonight's event uh, are going towards the Sigma 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 Foundation, which goes to two main different things. One is leadership programs, and the second one, which we really uh, encourage people to come out for, is child play therapy in hospitals. We have The event raised nearly $1,400 for the Sigma Sigma Foundation. I think my favorite part about this event is it's kind of fun that we all get to like dress up and look nice, but the fact that all the money is going to a really great cause makes it worthwhile. Well, it looks like a fun time was had by all for a great cause. For HBU News, I'm Ryan Anderson. Thanks, Ryan. Looks like a great event for an even greater cause. I'll remember to take part in it next year. I agree, Courtney. It's great to see the sisters raising awareness in such a fun and creative way. In other news, on Saturday the 15th, our campus had the privilege to hear from a famous businessman. Kevin Lyman, the founder of the popular Vans Warped Tour and the concert Coachella, spoke to students about his career in event planning. Scott Hardesty was one of the many that attended the speaker. Let's see what he has to say about it. Hey, this is Scott Hardesty here at the Extraordinaire Cinema, where Kevin Lyman, founder of Coachella and Warp Tour, is about to give a speech. Kevin is not only the founder of many traveling concerts, he's the owner of his own touring company. Let's see what Kevin has to say to the students of High Point. Work on you taking a public speaking class. I could never speak in front of you. Kevin Lyman took time out of his own schedule to come to High Point and talk to students about being an entrepreneur in the music touring business. Many people have accused this new tech-savvy generation of being lazy and full of hackers. Kevin likes to put it another way. It's just the way that you guys are deciphering and figuring things out. You're not taking the status quo. You'll challenge your teachers, you'll challenge your the way things are being done. Technology can be used for evil as well as good. The, what, the entrepreneurs that are using it for good are doing really great. One of the key points Lyman highlighted in his speech was that this world is rapidly changing and it's up to the new generation of entrepreneurs to take advantage of that change. The big thing I'm trying to say is that the, the world is a changing, evolving place, and there's going to be so many opportunities out there. If you're reading traditional media, they're more saying how there's not those opportunities out there. Um, we're, there are so many things out there. It's just the old models aren't necessarily working like they used to. Most empires, if they adapt, they exist. If they don't, they disappear. Kevin Lyman prides himself on taking risks and time managing. He even addressed why he doesn't like to waste time in his speech. Kevin emphasized how October was his favorite time of year, and that eventually, when he's an old man, he's going to run out of Octobers. This is Scott Hardesty and Crosby Sensabaugh for HBU News. Lay it all out, and then I come up with a lineup. Thanks, Scott. I wish I could have seen him speak. I'm sure he had great advice for the future businessmen in the crowd. Kevin Lyman wasn't the only exciting event to take place on campus this week. On Monday, November 17th, courtesy of an HBU alumni, the famous Stouffer's Mac and Cheese truck came to hand out free samples to all students. Not even the rain or cold could stop them from waiting online to receive the delicious mac and cheese. Eric Creedon was part of the crowd. Recently, the High Point University campus was visited by the Stouffer's Mac and Cheese truck. Students were able to receive customized macaroni and cheese. The rain did not stop students from enjoying the delicious samples that Stouffer's had to offer. So today we're serving Stouffer's Mac and Cheese, and we're topping with either bacon, uh, turkey and stuffing, or roasted autumn vegetables. It's so good! The Stouffer's food truck has been traveling across the country since mid-March, starting in L.A. and making its way here to High Point. Interestingly enough, one of the people on the team that are helping to schedule the truck 
is an alumni here. The truck was set to be on campus for five hours, but they ran out of mac and cheese in roughly four. So first mac and cheese, last cup of the day. It's great. Let's go, baby. Looks like the students had a great time eating macaroni and cheese. This has been Aaron Creedon reporting for HPU News. Now back to the studio. Wow, that made me hungry. Thanks, Aaron, for being able to capture that awesome event. I hope we bring back the Stouffer's Mac and Cheese truck again next year. Well, it looks like that's all we have time for today. But join us here again in two weeks for another episode. For all of us here at HPU News, I'm Courtney Leopold. And I'm Cody Robson. Have a great week, HPU.